All right, here we go, folks. Doesn't get a whole lot bigger nor better than this. Title fight for the UFC women's bantamweight crown. And she has worked exceedingly hard to get to the precipice. Her first title shot comes in front of a capacity crowd here tonight. You know, the bantamweight division for females is the glamour division for the UFC. We have had great champions there. This young lady believes that she will stand alone at the top after she gets the belt because she has no intention of ever losing the championship once she becomes the champ. She said that she's mentally prepared for everything that happens once she gets that goal. She has spent a big part of this week trying to get inside the head of the champion. It remains to be seen as to whether or not she has done it. We got a huge title fight on our hands tonight. to the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. Tale of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jillian the Savage Robertson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Mackenzie Dunn! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Oh, blocked the shot there, and then delivers the straight counter. Really nice defense there. And that low kick. Oh, through the knee to the body. Oh, that would hurt finally, yep. Oh! Hard shots landing on both sides here. She whiffs on the straight right hand. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. 
because she rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into the fight. It oh, a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Straight punch, it's there again. She missed with that jab. Nice body shot. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh! She's got her in a lot of trouble. Oh! Boom! Big jab. Punches. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. the end of round one. All right, so a standing ovation from this capacity crowd after that round. A huge knockdown there in the middle of the round. Got to have her feeling pretty good here as she goes to the stool. Back and forth up to that point. But she eventually found the shot that put her opponent on her backside. But how about the toughness of the opponent to get up off the floor and finish that round? Let's see how she approaches the next round. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool, kind of shaking her head, thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over. But if you know her, if you spent any time with her, you understand that she's a smart fighter, and she will get right back to doing what she Ready needs to do to win this fight. Ready. Round two is underway. Big shot to the head. Real quick leg kick. Right back in the leg kick. Well, she nearly got her out of there with the knockdown in the previous round, and her confidence remains high here, and she's building on that momentum. She's building on the momentum that she gained in round number one. That was not by mistake. She knows exactly and knew exactly what she was throwing to secure that knockdown. Oh, huge knee to the body. That'll soften her up. Let's go. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple different ways, and it's starting to pay dividends for her. Both fighters throwing heat now. She connects with the jab. so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. Try to establish that jab. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No. Cannot take too many hills. Less than two minutes now to go. Whoa! Oh, huge shots landed on both sides. How are they still standing? Push kick there to the body. Lands that beautiful jab. Still standing. 
Big head kick. Oh, oh, right hand. That would land it clean. Oh. Good right hand. Oh, with authority, the body. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on her body. I'm not sure how many more of those she wants to take. No, she needs to defend these. John, she's got to drop the elbow. She's got to tuck it. She's got to do something to try and deter her opponent from continuing to batter her to the body. Round three next. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, high level stuff there as she blocks the strike and counters with a jab of her own. Oh, nice jab. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is... She's got to start looking to finish here. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Oh, that's cut. Go after Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Oh, nice kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Let's see if she can get back to the hook here. Of course, she'll need a setup here, work off of the jab, and punctuate her combination with that patented hook. Well, her body has really absorbed a lot of shots in this fight, and now you're starting to see some of that redness, the visible damage. You gotta make an adjustment, I would think. She's gotta make an adjustment. I mean, she has to do something different. Right now, she is a step behind her opponent. Every time her opponent gives her a feint, she overreacts, and then bang, here comes the body attack. She's got to take the lead if she wants to stay in this fight. All right, well, she's landed those hooks at a high clip here tonight. Actually, some fans are starting to call her Mrs. Lineker. I think it's a pretty good nickname. Oh, it's a great nickname because they fight in the same style. She's very heavy-footed because she wants to get everything into that left hook, right hook, body hook, head hook. No matter where, she is just throwing those big digging punches all over her opponent's body. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing, that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Oh, she blocks the punch. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ten seconds. Ah. Nice body ah. kick there. Ah. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew 
when you are watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that... Oh! Oh, she is in real trouble. Fighter blocks the punch. Oh, nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising, we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. He was into right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Oh, inside leg kick. I mean, you could hear the whack from here. Yeah, right away, you hear it. You hear the impact at which she's landing this kick. Fighter lands a kick now. Nice crack there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Dylan's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. She did not miss there. She's been looking for it and she finally got it. And now she's gonna see if she can close the night. She did a great job blocking that shot. It's been a crazy fight. a nice straight. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Jillian the Savage. All right, so an incredible result in this sold-out venue tonight. We have a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She is just spectacular. A great fighter, a great champion, a woman that understands what it takes to be the best in the world. Congratulations, champ.